Welcome to Sonic Wall Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. In this video, we demonstrate how to create static IP address entries by MAC addresses. In order to create static IP address entries using the MAC addresses of appliances, under the DHCP server settings of the Sonic Wall appliance, we use the Add Static option available and set a static IP to the required MAC address. These settings can be useful in situations where we require to filter access based on the MAC addresses of devices. Today for demonstration, we are using a SonicWall NSA220 with the firmware version 5.9.0.6. To begin with the configuration, navigate to the Network tab, DHCP Server, click on the option Add Static. Entry name can be provided as per your requirement. Static IP address is the address that needs to be assigned to this MAC address. Ethernet address is the MAC address of the device. Here you need to note that the MAC address needs to be entered in a colon separated format. The default gateway is the IP address of the interface or the zone to which this belongs. This can be entered manually or the interface pre-populate option that is provided can be used to automatically populate this entry. By enabling the option Interface Pre-Populate and selecting the interface, the default gateway and subnet mask information is automatically entered. DNS OWIN server can be manually specified if required. The default option is to inherit the DNS settings dynamically from the Sonic World DNS settings. Click on OK to save the static entry. Once the static entry is set, the appliance with the MAC address specified in this entry would receive the static IP that is provided in the configuration. If any other appliance with this IP address tries to go online, it would be blocked by the sonic wall. Another configuration would be under Network Address Objects. Choose Custom Address Objects on top. Click on Add. The name for this address object can be provided as required. For demonstration, we call this as the blocked MAC once again. Zone assignment is LAN and the type is set to MAC. The MAC address of the appliance needs to be entered here. Also the MAC address needs to be in a colon separated format. Click on add to save the address object. This address object with the MAC address of the appliance can be used in other policies now. For example under the firewall access rules from LAN to WAN. By default, all traffic is allowed from LAN to WAN. In case we want to block an appliance based on its MAC address, click on Add. Action is set to Deny. Service can be set to any or a particular service as per the requirement. Source is set to the blocked MAC object, which is the address object that we created. Here we need to note that this is the address object and not the DHCP server static entry that we provided. The static entry is just to make sure that the appliance in question gets the static IP that we have provided. Destination can be any or a particular IP on the WAN if required. A comment can be entered if needed and then click on add to save the settings. We need to make sure that the deny rule is above the allow all rule. Once this is set, the appliance with the MAC address that we have specified as the blocked MAC object would be completely denied from internet access. This brings us to the end of this video on how to create static IP address entries by MAC addresses. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, please visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching this video.